Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. The Mountain West has been adept at producing teams who could knock off schools from the so-called big conferences. A high level of football being played in the Mountain West, and we expect a great matchup today. Thanks for joining us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Now let's send it out to Brad and Kirk for all the action. We'll see you at the half. Welcome to Skelly Field at H.A. Chapman Stadium. And now it's time for the coin toss, and it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste, zero calories. Enjoy everything. Troy has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Senior class taking the home field for the final time. And no matter what you've done before, you always want to get a win in your last home game. We'll see how they do. Quarterback brings his troops out onto the field for the first drive of the game. He's to the 40. He's tackled at about the 49. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this... one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. He's at the 40. Tackle made at the 35. to the senior. He scores. What a play. And he tacks on the extra point. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese. Time to check out the proceedings on the farm in Palo Alto. How about this final? Totally on 
expected, a major upset is now finished. O'Donnell has the ball all teed up, and he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 30. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Receiving team. team. Hines is looking to get in the record books in this one. He's a very special player, and he really deserves all the praise and awards he could get. Big game for this guy. So here comes the offense taking the field for the first time today. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. Never really had a shot. They were on him almost as soon as he took the handoff. They line up at the 10. Second down. Five wide. Throwing right. And he hits him hard at the 25. He looked pretty cool back there. Even with the outside linebacker blitzing, he made an accurate throw, and the result is a new set of downs. It's first and 10. Ball on the 25. Great job by the defense at getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. I love the toughness here by this quarterback. Sitting in until the last second, trying to make a play downfield only to have this defense get to him. He's got to do a better job maybe feeling things out a little bit, but at least he has the awareness and a toughness to sit in that pocket. It's third and 10. Ball on the 25-yard line. Freeman, his receiving numbers keep getting more and more gaudy. Over the course of an entire year, you're going to take some shots when you catch as many passes as he does. But he's always been able to bounce back for more yards. The Trojans will use their first time out of the half. Will be tied with the extra point. He makes the PAT. So that's a five play, 89 yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that group. They get a tie game at 7 7. Sends it sailing downfield. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out of the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only really just the the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they start to get a little bit fatigued.
He's out of bounds at the 37-yard line. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Nice run up the middle. White gains seven yards on that play. Quickly into the end zone, caught for the touchdown. And he adds the extra point. Reese Davis is standing by with this update. Reese? The Red Hawks come into today's game ranked number nine in the country. The Red Hawks relentless with their rushing attack, and they score a touchdown. Tulsa is lining up to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10. Brought down at the 10-yard line. This is my kind of game. We're getting a chance to see so many touchdowns. I just wonder if this offense could continue the flow that we've seen from the previous three series. Their last drive ended with a touchdown. Let's see what happens on this possession. And it was a really nice drive, too, Brad. The quarterback got into a nice rhythm and did a good job of picking apart the defense. And he is drilled at the two. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Quick throw, picked off. Touchdown, Tulsa! Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. He splits the uprights with the extra point. the ball set and he looks ready to kick this one deep he really got a hold of that kick he's to the 10 and down he goes at the 24 let's see how the defense responds now coming off that big play just a moment ago this quarterback needs to be a little bit more careful because this defense is excellent on capitalizing off of mistakes. Quick throw out to the receiver. This guy has that innate ability to get just enough distance from a defender to make a completion possible. You don't see it from every receiver, but this guy's got it. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 34-yard line. He 
he's taken down around the 47 yard line throwing the post route in the holes of zone coverage is just pitch and catch for these guys they make it look so easy First and ten. Ball on their own 47. Fires quickly and he's got his man. And they make the stop around the 49-yard line. That makes it second and eight. Gets it to his wide receiver, and he's got another one. And down he goes at the 26-yard line. That last catch gives him 100 yards receiving. You know, if you were to ask this defense, who wants to cover this guy, I bet you nobody's going to raise their hand because this receiver is embarrassing them. First and ten. Ball on the 26. Three down, three down. Mike 56. Mike 56. Down. Ten. Head on deep. Dangerous throw. This one's picked off. That's a great tackle at the 31. And for Thurman, it seems like he's been listening to the opponent's huddle all year long. And it could lead to a new school record. It's fun. watch this guy read the quarterback's eyes he knows their routes as well as they do and that's why he makes all these plays first down 10 to go ball on their own 31 they'll bring him down the 39 yard line From their own 36 yard line. Third down. And he almost has the INT. I'm not sure the quarterback saw him when he was getting ready to pass because he stuck his paw right in the passing line. Hines is back deep to return the punt. He's tackled at the 26. They need to show a little giddy up now because if they don't start eating into this deficit, they could easily fall out of the game. Throws incomplete, intended for his wideouts. Nice job getting a hand on that one. Yeah, really good heads-up play there to get a hand on the football by the defense. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Trying to get it to the tight end, but it falls to the ground. Him hard at the 14. After the sack, it's now fourth and long. 
Ball, the return man. And this one is a beauty. Ball fields it at the 39. Tackle made at the 47-yard line. Tulsa's on a roll. They've really been clicking in all phases of this one early. Yeah, when you play a team like this that you know you're physically better than, you just leave no doubt. Take control of the game early and try to dominate, and that's what we've seen. Not a lot of success for this offense on their last trip out. And they get nice yardage on that run. That brings them second and five. Complete. He's tackled around the 38-yard line. We're through one quarter. Tulsa's lead is two touchdowns. And we're ready for more football here in quarter number two. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Gains his way to the 19-yard line. Gets a carry left side, and he's tackled at the 14-yard line. Call it a gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. And he's taken down right around the 14-yard line. Miller takes him down for a loss behind the line at the 14-yard line. left the running backs got it he's taken down around the nine yard line makes the catch but just not enough for the first yeah they're going to come up a little bit short here nice job by the defense of preventing this completion from turning into a first down so it's fourth down they'll line up for the field goal and this is nothing more than a chip shot the kick is up and it splits the uprights Excellent kick. He's to the 10. And they push him out at about the 25-yard line. It was a pretty one-sided first quarter, but I wouldn't be surprised if things changed in a big way before halftime. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's tackled right away. Call it a gain of 11 yards. First down. Larry, Larry. Mike 56, Mike 56. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Quickly. Let's go, D. 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 Let's go
second and four. and he fumbles the football and they fall on the loose ball and they make the stop at the 27 yard line I'll tell you when a guy as big as this lineman gets his paws on a loose ball you can pretty much forget about it you're not getting the ball back from him it's still only the second quarter we've got a lot of football left but I gotta say this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. That brings up second and 13. Second and 13. Ball on the 30. There are a lot of players in the college game that can make something happen when the blocking breaks down. But when it's that bad, I don't care who you are, you're going down for a loss. They come out in a five-wide set. Ready, set, set, five. Quick out to his receiver. He's hit and taken down. it out to about the 14 yard line. Gain of three on the play. That'll make it second and seven. Watch 98. Watch 98. Now he tries to buy some time. And he hits him hard at the 13. Spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. Receivers got it on the screen. What a play to set him up with a first and goal. This play is number eight on the drive. Let's go! Quick strike to the receiver, touchdown! the PAT. So an eight-play, 27-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. The score now, 31-7. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. Things are on the verge of getting out of hand before we even hit the half. These next few drives are going to go a long way in determining what kind of game this will end up being. Throws quick to the receiver and it falls incomplete. It's second and ten. Ball on the 25. Five wide. Quick strike to the receiver. And he was that close to turning that into a big play. That makes it first and ten. 
So an empty backfield with five wide receivers. Throws it out and it falls incomplete. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on their own 46. He chucks it downfield. Can't haul it in. The wide receiver wasn't able to hang on. Well, you talk about a solid hit. This guy is a true enforcer. That brings us third and 10. Throws it out there, catches it, and he's hit immediately. Now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. They'll spread the field with five wide. Throws incomplete. That's a miscommunication between a quarterback and a wide receiver right there. They need to get their signal straight. The cavalry's coming, and they bring him down for a sack on the play. That makes it third and eleven. And they'll look to convert here on another third down. Check four, check four. Slings it out and it gets tipped. The safety comes up with a nice play. Nice job of the safety here, sitting back and playing center field, then seeing the ball and coming up and simply batting the ball away. Looks like they've decided to go for it here. Oh, yeah, I'm coming. Oh, yeah, I'm they come out in an empty backfield. Picked off. It's the ball hawking senior. Brad, I'm going to put that one on the quarterback. I think he's forcing the... issue out there I understand you're down a couple scores and you're trying to get back into the game but you can't get it all back at once you've got to be patient take your time and methodically work yourselves back as a team back into this game they line up at the nine first down here's the throw I don't think he got anything on that the D sniffs out the screen pass and holds him to a short game. Contain, contain, contain. That's the only way you can shut down a guy with 4-2 speed. Level at the 35-yard line. 
He fires. Stays in bounds and made a nice catch. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. It's first and ten. Ball on the 13-yard line. He just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. He's just running good, clean routes and catching the ball when it comes his way. Tulsa with a commanding lead. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Here's an update from the studio and Reese Davis. The Red Hawks hit the field today, ranked ninth in the country. This is a game we've been watching closely all day long. And for Boise State, they unleashed that aerial assault and find pay dirt for a touchdown. I'm really surprised how lopsided this first half has been. But this is college football, and no matter what the score is, the adrenaline's always pumping on both sides. Pressure coming, and the ball is loose. And who's got it? One of the defensive linemen. Boy, the end really showed some explosiveness there in getting to the loose ball. I think we saw the effects of what a long drive can do to a defense the last time this offense was out on the field. They took that football and drove the length of the field to put points up on the board. And I think it really started to affect not only just the, the psyche of this defense, but maybe even the conditioning where they started to get a little bit fatigued. Tulsa's going to have to use their second time out of the half. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Here we go! Tulsa. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. And he tacks on the extra point. O'Donnell looks ready to kick this one off. And he got all of this one. Great kick. For Tulsa, they're really getting after the quarterback tonight. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. This defense is still feeling the pressure of the passing game. Well, when you come after the quarterback and you don't get there, it usually leaves somebody open, or at least some space to work with. He's tackled at midfield. The Trojans are going to call their second timeout. That makes it first and ten. First down, ten yards to go. Ball on the 50. He's going to go for the home run. Big catch there as they knock him out of bounds. That, that makes, makes it first, first and goal. goal.
brings up a second and goal. Ball on the four. Zips it to his receiver. Touchdown. Nice play as the offense gets it through the air. Yeah, they've had some success in their short passing game, so they felt confident they could make that play work down inside the 10. So the offense is going to go for two. They put everyone up on the line. Blue 14! Blue 14! Hey! Gives it left side. He's in for the conversion. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He'll return it from the one. At the 30. Tackle made at the 32-yard line. It's still only the second quarter. We've got a lot of football left, but I've got to say, this one is teetering on the brink of a blowout. Tulsa looking to put this game away if they score here. He's got to throw it in a hurry. He's wrapped up for the sack. That'll make it second and long. Defense looking for another sack in this second down and long situation. We've still got a half of football remaining. Tulsa's running away with it. Reese, David, wish you were here instead of Kirk and I. We start the second half in this lopsided ball game. Excellent kick. He's to the 10. He's taken down at the 13-yard line. And for Barbour, he's been all over the field for this defense. Well, Brad, he really has. And he's doing a good job of taking advantage of getting lower than the offensive lineman. So he's got the leverage, and he's just driving those offensive linemen back into the backfield to disrupt the timing for this offense. To me, this is just a classic example of just being bigger, faster, and stronger than the guy trying to block you. I don't care if this offensive lineman uses two or even three guys to stop it. There's nothing they can do to stop this individual performance that he's putting on display today. It's second down. This is a dangerous situation backed up against their goal line. Going deep, lays it out there, and it's going the other way. It's the senior corner. And he's taken down around the 24-yard line. You don't want to criticize a quarterback for trying to make something happen, but I'm not really sure who he thought he was throwing the ball to there. From the 24-yard line, first down, Tulsa looking to add to this big lead here. Deep ball, laying it out there. He almost had it, but it's incomplete. The quarterback threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. Slings it. And they make the stop at the 21-yard line. Jackson's on the tackle at the 21-yard line. Third down. From the 21 yard line, it's third down. Screen to the receiver, nothing doing. Number 84, the intended receiver on the play. Fourth down. They're already up big, and this could make the lead bigger. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Reese Davis joins us in the studio with this update. Reese, let's take a look at what's going on in the Mountain West. Let's take a look at this one again. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Nice kick, plenty of distance. He's to the 20. 
across the 30. Knocked out of bounds at the 45-yard line. Trombley's play so far in this football game, he's really the definition of just being a solid competitor every week. Yeah, I mean, you and I have been watching him, and just every week he has impressed us. And then to be able to sit down and talk with him, I think that's the thing that really I took away from our meeting is not just is this guy a talented player, but how competitive he is. And we've seen that again in this football game. Just his competitive spirit leading this team and up to this point, just a flawless performance. That'll make it second and long. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. Fires out to his wideout. They'll bring him down at about the 45. The 45-yard line. That brings up third and 10. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Fires to the wideout. First down. Gain of 15 yards. First down. 56, Mike, 56. Check, check. Alert, Sam. Alert. Picked off. for continuing to fight and continuing to try to compete but another interception another miscue for this team they're already getting blown out they've got no chance to get back in the game first and ten ball on the 38 yard line Tulsa comes to the line in complete control in this game up the middle for a nice game that's a game of seven on the play Second and three yards to get the first down here on third down brought down at the 48 yard line that makes it fourth and inches Hines back deep to return From the 15, he's got the corner, and he shoved out of bounds right around the 30. We'll have to see now how the offense responds this time after throwing a pick on their last drive. The first rule on offense is to take care of the football. These guys need to remember that on this drive. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on their own 30. Mike 56, Mike 56. Set, Oklahoma. Tries to thread the needle, it's picked off. He's taken down around the 49-yard line. Tulsa up big right now in this one. He's at the 40. Tackle at about the 29-yard line. From the 29-yard line, it's first down. Pulls down the catch, and he's got room here. 
He goes out of bounds around the 12 yard line. Second down and nine to go. Ball on the 11-yard line. Switch, switch, switch. Here's the throw to the fullback. And he's tackled around the four-yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That'll bring up third and two. First down with that run from the halfback. He got by a couple of defenders and made it to the sticks for the first down. First down. They've got four cracks at it inside the five. It's first and goal. Tulsa in control. Touchdown, Golden Hurricane. the PAT, a six-play, 51-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. O'Donnell has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. He just drills this one. Troy's having a hard time doing anything on offense right now. Well, they've had some opportunities, but they either turn the ball over or obviously don't execute on third down, and they're forced to punt. Uh, or, or drive uh, ends up uh, stalling in a fourth down. But they're moving the ball at times. I think they've just got to take some chances at this point late in the game like this. Throw the ball downfield and hope that your receivers can make some plays. Good tackle there in space. That makes it first and ten. Pressure got there and it's intercepted. And down he goes at the 40 yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on the 40. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. Tulsa comes to the line. They got a big advantage in this one. Throws a bullet. Got it. Complete. He's out of bounds. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 20 yard line. Hand off inside. He fights forward to about the 19. Gain of one yard. That makes it second and ten.
Upset special happens every year. Maybe it's one of those weekends. They line up to kick this one away. And he got all of this one. Great kick. He's to the 10. Lost the ball. Fumble. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. From their own 20-yard line. First down. He zips it out to the right. And he stays in bounds and he hauls in a big one. That's a First down. Was he drilled as he let go of that football? Yeah, he's going to feel that one tomorrow. That makes it second and ten. From their own 48-yard line. Second down. Incomplete. And that wasn't the greatest pass in the world. Well, I don't know how anybody can throw a great pass while getting drilled like that. catch there before they can knock him out of bounds that's three down and one to go Tulsa's got a huge lead just about set to start the fourth quarter mercifully fires that quickly incomplete the defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush and that time it paid off with an incompletion Second and ten. Ball on the 19-yard line. I'm pretty sure they won't win it, but they haven't quit yet. Well, there's still a lot of work for us to do. Even with that touchdown, though, we've got a blowout on our hands and a lot of football left. Well, on a day where practically nothing's going right, maybe they can win a small victory by getting the two-point conversion here. Defense stacked in tight here. He's in for the conversion. Troy, ready to kick this one off. Sends it sailing downfield. They'll bring him down at the 20-yard line. And what a game it's been for this quarterback, Kirk. Well, this is really just one of those games where it's all coming together. He's making the right reads. He's delivering the football in rhythm. And the most important thing is he's playing with confidence. And can you imagine looking at this video right now and being a defensive back? You just want to forget about this football game. It's, you, know, you ask the coach, please, coach, do we have to look at the film? Let's just move on to next week. That brings up second and 13. From their own 17-yard line. It's second down. Tulsa is winning big. Steps out of bounds at the 21. He airs it out. Keeps his eye on it, makes the catch. To the 10. He scores. What a play. There's really not much need to be throwing the ball right now, unless you're trying to embarrass these guys. And he hits the PAT. A short three-play, 80-yard drive. And the result, seven points. Boy, that is scoring in a hurry. This offense is looking more and more explosive. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. He's to the 10. Tackle at the 17-yard line. 
The Trojans have just not been able to get that offense rolling at all today. I think they're confused. I think it starts up front with the offensive line. They're not having the typical game that you'd expect to see from them as far as communication. I think it's affected the rest of the offense. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injury. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions, and especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. He chucks it downfield. Intercepted. And he's taken down at the 46-yard line. From their own 46-yard line, it's first down. Tulsa up by a bunch. He's tackled at the 48. Gain of two on the play. That makes it second and eight. Man left, man left. Four down, four down. 198. They come out in a five-wide set. Caught open field. And they make the stop at the 41-yard line. From the 41-yard line, first down. He's at the 30. They'll bring him down around the 23-yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's Personal check foul. out the penalty. Clipping. Clipping. Offense. Offense. So they'll move back after that costly Still penalty, and they'll have to try to get that yardage back here. From the 38-yard line, first down. of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. He's scrambling, and they got him. You have to keep an eye on this guy, especially during passing situations, because he does a great job of getting to the quarterback, as we saw right there. They're about four yards away here on third down. Check, 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 check. Tulsa check, check, with a check. big advantage. Check, 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 check. They bring him down. This and that'll be the second time that he found. The quarterback today. When you talk about a dominant lineman, this is the kind of guy you're talking about. He's got two sacks today. He can bring constant pressure. Really just a nightmare for the big boys up front. Hines is the deep man awaiting the return. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Offense comes back out, looking to improve from their last effort. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rattle this guy. He makes it out to maybe the 23-yard line. That's a game of three on the play. That'll make it 77. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on their own 23. Nice run up the middle. They got a few yards there, but they need to be thinking bigger right now. The senior makes the catch. 
to the 20. Brought down around the 12 yard line. Less than three minutes in the game. Still playing hard out there. And the quarterback stays on the field as they try for the two-point conversion. To star. Hey, he's everything we expected to see today. Both teams are playing out the stretch here. You want to get experience for guys who normally don't get in the game and try to avoid injuries. They come out on an empty backfield. And off, and he's met immediately. Loss of two yards on the play. That'll bring up second and 12. From the 42-yard line, it's second down. The quarterback in the gun with five receivers. And they get nice yardage on that run. White picks up five with the carry. That makes it 37. A little over a minute in the game. Stop there late in the fourth quarter, but it's a blowout and has been for most of the game. I think it's time for everybody to go home. The Trojans taking their first time out of the half. In a perfect world, he knocks this kick down inside the 10. This one will go into the end zone and they'll bring it out to the 20. Late in the fourth quarter, this game's not even close. It's a blowout. A lot of folks have already gone home, and Herbie, I think we're going to make our dinner reservation. Tackle around the 31-yard line. He made a really good move at the line of scrimmage. Sometimes all you need to do is throw off the defender's timing just a little bit at the start of the play. And that just might do it. Intercepted. From the 39-yard line, it's first down. Up the middle for a nice game. Tulsa looking to put this game away if they score here. On the ground, left side. He gets hit out of bounds at the 31.
Tulsa staff just dancing on the sideline. Their star player came through for them, and they couldn't be happy. Well, the staff has to feel good. The entire team That's should feel good. And I know you and I just having a chance to sit back and, and watch this young man play. Uh, just an outstanding performance and something that this entire team will be able to build on. So that wraps things up for us. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, I'm Brad Nessler saying thanks, and we'll see you next time.